Hey everybody, how you doing? Let's make a coaster. If you're looking for cool videos, then you're at the right place. From PC to the console, then leave a smile on your face. Junkyard, Junkyard. Get ready to watch a video from Junkyard. So I have a program, it's called Engraver Master. Uh, it came with my CNC mill machine. So the laser printer I have is the DIY 8000. Uh, it's like a Chinese kit I bought for a couple hundred bucks a while back. And slowly but surely I've been teaching myself how to do this thing. Because um, I can't really find any instructions or I haven't found any instructions, but nonetheless. This is what we're going to go ahead and engrave on the coaster here. Now the coaster, we have to make sure we know the width and the height of what the max we can do. So ideally, I'm probably going to want it centered right about here. So we're going to do about seven, 70 millimeters. So let's put in here 70. And sometimes it'll, oops. Actually, that'll work. Uh, so we're going 70 wide, and it'll be about 64 millimeters high. All right, so that's what we're going to want to cut. All right, so now let's go over to the laser printer. So what we do here is we just want to, I got these rubber grommet things here, and they slide to where I need them to go. And they hold, they used to have washers that actually held them on top, but it all came, it was, well, needless to say, they're all paying the ass trying to get it in here on this little thing, but these tend to hold them in pretty good into place. And get it, as long as nobody touches my desk, it actually holds in there pretty good. Let's spin it around where the emblem will... There we go. That's good. I like that right there. Alright, so then we need to make sure that the laser printer is... Oops. Make sure the laser printer is on. And we test the size. Okay, so it's going to go right about there. Alright, 
that. So we got to move it down a little bit because it's not going to. So we got to adjust that a little bit. So. So I'll go ahead and I'll square it up like this a few times until I figure out exactly where I want it to be. And I try to watch where the laser goes. Um, I do have, when it's burning, the it, laser gets a little hotter, so I do have these laser things. I think we're pretty much just about centered where we want it. Because you can see the, the laser stops in the corners, yeah. And again, if it's not perfect, honestly, it's it's a... It's a fun gift for somebody, so, you know. All right, I think we are exactly where I want it to be. So, now we start. Now this will start burning into the laser, and it's going to take a while. So, uh, sit back, relax. We'll come back, check it. The smoke isn't too bad. It really is not. It's more of a, um, it tends to be more like a uh, in incense, you know? Because especially with the, the cedar, it smells really nice. So anyway, this is going to take a while, so I don't have a, uh, I don't think we want to record the whole thing, but... And what the heck, we'll let it keep going and when the battery runs out, we'll start it all over again. All right, we are done. Let's take a look. Let's put a little light on this here. All right, so as you can see, it burned it really well. Very nice. And then what we'll just do is we'll end up putting a, uh, a finish on it. 
All right, so what I did is I just grabbed a hanger, elongated it, stuck it between there so it's pinched, sprayed it with some polyurethane spray, and what I'll do is I'm just gonna let it sit there and dry. It's still wet, as you can see. And we'll just let that dry for a couple hours and bada bing, bada boom. So everybody, as you can see, we made a coaster. The laser really did a great job as far as the complete details. The CNC machines are really a lot of fun. I gotta say that I'm really enjoying uh, learning about CNC machines. You know, this was my first little tiny machine. I do have an X-Carve now also, which is a uh, CNC that's made by Inventables, I believe. I've yet to get that up and going. I do need a uh, laptop. I have this laptop. But this laptop's an old laptop. It has, um, it's a Vista, Windows Vista, and I need Windows 7 or better. So I, I'm just trying to find a really cost-effective, cheapy laptop that's gonna be in the garage. I'm gonna bring it in, obviously, in the summertime because it'll die. But I just need a cheapy, Wi-Fi accessible to get that up and going. Anyway, with this Cedar, I realized that the wood is a lot softer than some of the hardwoods I've done. I've done some other coasters. You know, I've done some Harry Potter ones. You cannot see. I've done some Harry Potter ones, so that Slytherin, then we got Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. So I've done some really cool coasters. And these were, this was on a piece of edge grain cedar where this was done actually on the root you know on the whole core a slice of it I sliced about a half inch and then I burned it there then I have my I did I made a logo right there of my stuff so is it coming in there it is anyway anyway I'm having a lot of fun with this stuff and, I, and I'm still teaching myself how to do it but I wanted to go ahead and just put something fun on there let me know if you have any questions below just a great just to see you guys. Sorry I haven't been around, but uh, who knows when I'll get my next video up. But I'm going to do my best. But nonetheless, we had a lot of fun. This is Junkyard. Thanks for watching. Needless to say, keep making. So, bye. See ya.